Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I want to apologize for any background noise. There's some people out there, some neighbors doing some yard work, I think. So I apologize for any noises you might hear, including my cats. <laughs> so today we are doing a cute little sea turtle crawling towards the ocean. And uh, I've never done this before, so this is my first time. So I hope that I make you guys proud and I hope that it's doable for all of us. So I'm starting off with um, kind of cutting down halfway through my rock with white paint because that's going to be the water and the other part, part at the bottom is going to be the sand. So I wanted to paint the rock white at the top so that that water is a nice bright blue. It's not affected by the gray color of my stone because I've primed it. So we're starting off with that and letting it dry. And then I'm going to start with the sand being the darkest closer to where that white paint is. So that's where the water is going to be. That's where the sand is going to be wet. So it's going to be darker when it gets closer to the water. And then it's going to get lighter as we get to the bottom of the rock because that's the dry sand. So I'm using a sponge to blend on. I'm just using different shades of brown and uh, I believe it's called camel, uh, which is the common color that I use for any sand that I'm doing or, or look alike of sand. <laughs> I am using a sponge because it does blend nicely the colors together. So it's a nice graduated color change from the dark brown to the light brown. And then I'm outlining with my darkest brown and going along the edge of the sand there. I'm also going to take a sponge uh, to blend in that dark brown so that it's not like a, a big thick dark line there. I want it to look as natural as possible like it's really supposed to be there. I'm using um, little paint pouncers or sponges that are on sticks. Um, the If you check the tutorial, the description, um, there should be a down arrow on the bottom of the video screen here that you can click. It's off to the right side of the screen and if you click that down arrow it will show you all of the stuff that I've used in my video um, and links to other tutorials that can show you uh, either resin or my brushes or where to get sponges or where to get the glitter that I'm using. Uh, on my rocks as well is all in the description. So make sure you check there. I will have all the paint colors that I'm using in there listed for you. So I'm using three or four different shades of blue. Um, I'm starting with a dark color at the very top and working my way towards that sand. It's going to get a lot lighter all the way to white. So as you know, in the ocean, the closer you get to the sand, the lighter the, the water is, right? The deeper you go, the darker it gets. So that's why I'm doing the paint this way. Um, as you go out further, it gets darker, but closer in by the sand, it's almost white, like with sea foam. So we are going to blend the blues, and those colors will be listed in the description all the way to the edge of the wave, which is the whitest part. And make sure you blend when your paint is wet. That's the best way to blend or it is not going anywhere and it is frustrating and you basically have to start over by painting the whole thing again in order to blend it. So blend while it's wet and I recommend, highly recommend, sponges. Once you have learned how to blend with sponges, you will never want to go back. Now I am just lightening up the sand using more of that camel color at the very edge here, making sure that there's a nice gradual color change, making sure that I'm blending it properly while the paint is wet because I don't want it to be blotchy. I want a nice smooth transition from light to dark going towards the water. And we are painting this cute little sea turtle rock because uh, I believe June 16th was sea turtle day. So we are painting these sea turtles to celebrate the belated sea turtle day on June 16th. 
I am adding a white line using my fine lining brush, which is in the description if you want to make one too, just like mine. It might make your fine lining days a little bit easier. I am lining it, then sponging it towards the light blue to blend it in properly. But I want to make sure that there's a nice defined white edge on that, on that edge of the water there. And I'm not adding gold today. Um, you're very welcome to add gold. I didn't realize until after I did the entire video that I didn't use gold. So you can use gold on your turtle. I think it would make it really cool. Um, but today I didn't use any gold. But I am going to use glitter. Because what would uh, Rachel's Rocks tutorial be without gold or glitter? Come on! I have missed you guys. I did go uh, away last weekend, one night with my kids, one night with my hubby to celebrate our anniversary, and it was amazing. I got inspired, and so I wanted to get out some tutorials for you guys before the long weekend this weekend, because it's going to be my long weekend here in Canada, um, and then I'm going on a week's vacation with my kids to a campground in a trailer, and... I will be bringing some rocks, so you might see some cool rocks next week, as well as possibly even a tutorial right from the trailer. You never know. Um, now, I am literally just defining that entire wave of water with the white paintbrush, and then I'm sponging very lightly a very small amount of white paint to make another frothy, sea foamy wave, the leftover wave that's sitting on the sand after when the waves roll back into the ocean. There's always a little bit there, right? So we're going to make sure that we have that with using the sponge and a very small amount of white paint. I'm just kind of scrubbing on these leftover waves. Uh, uh, that's what I'm going to call them, leftover waves. And we're going to define those little light sponge marks with the white paintbrush as well, just like we did with that first original wave. Uh, we're going to use the fine lining brush and just go along the bottom edge of those sea foamy waves right there. And then it just looks like they're rolling back into the ocean slowly. We look like we got some movement here. The best part about my tutorials is that you can stop at certain spots if you don't want to put a turtle on your beach. Uh, you don't have to. You can put an anchor. You can put a, a starfish. You can write uh, your initials and your your partner's initials in a heart. Make it look like you drew it in the sand with a stick. Um, there's lots of things that you can do from here. Um, but today I'm adding a turtle and I'm now adding my hologram 2796. My teal colored sparkle. Um, I'm doing the same thing I did with the white paint. I'm putting it all the way along the edge in a nice thick line and then I'm going to take a sponge or sorry a brush and I'm going to kind of smudge it into the wave a little bit but not all the way back to the other waves. I'm not going to go overboard with the glitter. I just want the edges of the waves to sparkle mostly and that will be more noticeable once I've sealed it with resin at the end. The glitter is really hard to show off on my videos. I'm sure you've noticed this before, but if you've purchased one of my rocks from Etsy, um, you know that the pictures don't do my stones any justice whatsoever. When you finally get them in your hands, you understand the glitter of it all. <laughs> you understand the gold of it all. And um, it's so much more pretty in person, I promise. If you've purchased one of my rocks, please comment below and verify what I've just said because I promise you, you cannot see this glitter until you've done it yourself and then put resin or sealer over top of it. This glitter is to die for, I promise you. And it does a lot to your paintings too, depending on, on what you do with it. So I'm using it as an accent to highlight these waves. That's basically all I'm doing. I'm gonna lightly brush in whatever's left over on my brush, but there's not much. I'm just lightly brushing it into the ocean, so there's a little bit of glitter across the ocean water, um, but most of the, the glitter is at the very edge of the waves. 
and notice I didn't take the glitter all the way back to the wave. You can still see the sand. It's just, just on the very edge of the waves. Now I'm using a mixture of classic green um, and real brown. It's a dark, dark, dark brown, like dark chocolate. And I'm mixing those together to make the colors of my sea turtle. Uh, I've looked at pictures. I'm not a professional artist. Well, I guess I'm professional, but I'm not a realistic artist and I didn't go to school for this. I'm self-taught. So my turtle's not going to look real. So feel free to um, make fun of my art skills, but don't make fun of my cute little turtle because you're going to hurt his feelings. So please be nice. I am, um, after looking at pictures of turtles, some of them are kind of grayish black. Some of them have some green on them. Some of them are just, you know, running so fast you don't even know what color they are. So today mine is going to be a dark brownish green and we're going to lighten the shell up a little bit with the classic green. And then we're just going to define some of the shell bumps with some glitter, which you can use nail glitter like I'm using today. Um, link is in the description. Or you can also get away with using eyeshadow. If you don't know a girl who's got some extra eyeshadow laying around, there is something wrong in your world. <laughs> so if you don't have any, you will be able to find it easily. You can even pick it up at a dollar store. Basically, just use a little bit, a little dab will do ya. And it's just to highlight certain areas on your artwork. Um, I like putting it on my turtle shells when I make turtles. Um, so why not put it on my sea turtle crawling towards the ocean? You will see at the very end. And it's, once again, you can see it a lot better in person. Um, but I will be able to show you it a little bit better once this has been sealed with resin. So you can see all my brush strokes, which I can't stand. I don't like seeing that. It depends, I guess. It depends on whose artwork it is. It might just go having brush strokes everywhere. But for me, I'm so addicted to sponges now that I sponge everything so that it looks kind of airbrushed. So I'm using a sponge to get rid of all of these brush strokes on my turtle legs and my turtle shell, which I'm turning green. As my paint dries, I keep adding a little coat of the classic green so that I can green up my shell a little bit. But I'm going to keep the, the flippers and the head uh, that dark brownish green color that I mixed together. Now I am going to highlight the bottom edge of the feet and the flippers and the shell. I'm going to do a little bit of highlighting around the edge of the shell as well. And basically I'm just blending in that highlighted area that I used. I used the same color that I used on the sand, which is the camel color. I highlight the bottom edge of the flipper and then I kind of add some dark green and blend it in so that there's a nice a nice highlight there and it's not just a bold line of camel. Now I'm going to be adding two black dots on the top of the head and when I watched my video after doing it I kind of laughed because it looked really silly. Um, I'm not keeping those dots that way. I'm actually going to kind of put like little half eyelids over top of them once they're dry. Um, and then they look a little bit, <laughs> a little bit better, but not much. I'm not, not too great with the turtle eyes. So you will see that and feel free to laugh because just know that you're laughing with me. I'm also highlighting the bottom of the flippers, the back feet, um, and just making sure that it's all blended in nicely. I do outline my turtle in black as well. Uh, once I've got everything all done but that's optional. You don't have to. I just feel like it kind of comes off the, the beach a little bit when I highlight it, or sorry, when I outline it in black. Make sure you do check the description for the brushes that I'm using, blending brushes, the sponges, the glitter, the fine lining brush that I use on all of my stones. All of that information is in the description. I have left everything there for you for free so that you can learn and you can teach yourself just like I did. So don't miss out on all of that stuff that I'm putting in the description. Um, so I'm outlining that camel color on the just the edge of the shell just to kind of highlight that as well. I think he's super cute already. And I think he probably does need a name, so feel free to uh, throw out some cute little sea turtle names in the comments. I'd love to see them. 
Now, because I missed you guys so much, I have uh, three tutorials coming out this week. Hopefully, all today. Uh, one will be a beautiful, patriotic uh, July 4th rock for you USA people. Um, and also, Canada Day, where I'm from, is happening on Monday. So I'm also doing a Canadian rock to celebrate Canada Day. And then, of course, this cute little sea turtle. So you guys, because you're amazing and you're so supportive and you all are quite the uh, quite the bunch, you are a rock solid group of people who are extremely beautiful and extremely talented. And I just can't get over some of the beautiful words that I read every day. That's what I wake up to every morning. I spend like the first 45 minutes of my day uh, going through as many comments as I can and answering as many questions as I can. So if you hear me commenting back to you early in the morning, that is why. That is the only time I have to do it. Um, but because of all of those beautiful words that I'm reading every day, I wanted to make sure that you guys know I love you. And I wanted to get out three more tutorials this month before I go away next week. Although, just because I'm going away does not mean I will not be painting. <laughs> Keep this in mind. I will paint until the day I die. See, I'm putting little eyelids over his eyes now so that they're not so bulgy. So he looks like he's headed towards the ocean. <laughs> I'm trying for you guys. I do this like freehand <laughs> while I'm videoing and uh, sometimes it doesn't look the way I hoped it did. But I still think he's cute. He's just got half eyes now. <laughs> now, now that I've outlined him in black, I am going to work on the shell a little bit now that that paint is dry. So I am just taking that light camel color again. Very, very small amount. It's barely on my brush. So make sure you dab as much off as you can on a towel or on your paint tray. Just get as much of that paint off as you can. You barely want any there. And I'm just going in and I'm smudging on little patches, like just really messy little smudgy patches. <laughs> Maybe that's what his name should be. Little messy little smudgy patches. And I am dabbing that on. It's going to look a lot better soon. I'm just kind of smudging it on there so that there's, so it looks like there's some bumps on the shell. I promise it's going to look better soon. Now that those smudges have dried, I'm going to take my dark brown, brownish green color that I used on the body parts of the turtle again, and I'm just kind of going around those smudgy parts. And I'm not doing it perfect, I'm doing it messy, but I'm just kind of defining those little smudgy parts to make it look like there's some definition um, and design on the turtle shell. Now here's where I use nail glitter. Um, you can use eyeshadow, like I said. You can use eyeshadow for this just to kind of highlight those little smudgy patches and and it makes them stand out a little bit more. It makes them kind of lift up so that they look like bumps on the turtle shell. So right now it looks kind of weird, but you will see once I have resined it that it really helps make that turtle shell come alive a little bit. It's a promise. Now he's running, right? So you got to make it look like he's been running. <laughs> so we're putting in some little divots in the sand where his flippers were as he's scurrying towards the ocean. Um, so we're just random in little random spots where you think his flippers might have been as he was traveling along the sand. Um, make sure that you see his shell at the bottom part, it does drag in the sand. If you look up sea turtles, you do see a little drag mark from the, the pointy part of their shell there in the sand. So make sure you drag down some of that darkish brown. Make sure once again with this part, you don't have a lot of paint on your paintbrush. Just use a very small amount so that you can kind of scuff it on uh, to your, your sand there. And make sure there's a drag mark. 
And you can also add like a starfish, you can add little seashells, which I'm gonna do. I just use like a toothpick and add some little rocks and, and pebbles with black paint and brown paint and a couple of seashells with the white paint. But literally, it's it's just like a dab with a toothpick. It's nothing fancy. I'm not going all out on that stuff. Um, I just wanted to make it look a little bit more like a beach because there is little seashells and little stones and stuff on the beach. So um, I'm defining his little turtleneck a little bit more because there is like a a neck part and then a head and you can't really see that and I figured I'd better give him that because that probably helps him get inside of his shell. <laughs> so I don't want to miss that part. I'm sure you guys would let me know, oh you forgot his turtleneck. <laughs> I'm just making sure that those flippers are highlighted once again with um, my camel colored paint. You get to stick with all the same colors throughout. I'm adding little pebbles, little seashells, and then I'm going to resin it as soon as it is dry. I am thinking about doing a live where you guys ask questions and I answer them for you and get my hubby to help me. Um, but just let me know what you think of that in the comments and like my videos, share my videos. Here it is resined guys like look at that I signed it with brown paint in the sand so it looks like I signed my name with a little stick in the sand you can see all the glitter in the waves you can see his shiny shell I'm gonna bring it closer for you in a second but there you can see his little shiny bumps his little patches isn't that cute look at how beautiful and shiny it is.